it's Wednesday and welcome today to our daily prayers and we're thinking about different parts of our body and how we can serve God and today I've got eyes uh, there's all sorts of things we could say um, perhaps allowing not allowing our eyes to rest on things they should not rest on reading material or something on the telly or something on social media avoiding those things but also eyes to notice where there is a need it's very easy isn't it to sort of slightly ignore it do we have the eyes to see maybe what God is inviting us to people inviting us to care for let's pray for the eyes to see as God sees people and do join with me as we pray now O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise the night has passed and the day lies open before us let us pray with one heart and mind as we rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever amen and so now we come to the start of the parable of the good samaritan so here we go and we are verse 30 and of course this is jesus replying to the question who is my neighbor jesus said a man was going down from jerusalem to jericho when he was attacked by robbers they stripped him of his clothes beat him and went away leaving him half dead a priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man he passed by on the other side so too a levite when he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side so here we have a man who is in desperate need he could well die if he's left out there overnight for example uh, robbers the cold uh, wolves he was not in a good place at all and he desperately needed help and here the first part of the parable is the very kinsman um, of this Jew in particular the priest or someone from the priestly tribe the Levites what do they do they pass by on the other side in other words they almost pretend they haven't noticed they leave the guy on one side of the road and pass by on the other so they don't have to look him in the eye and they can sort of keep him out of their minds i wonder can you and i do that sometimes we know there's a need but somehow we skirt around it we don't talk about it we don't pray about it we pass by on the other side that's certainly a challenge to me i wonder about you maybe you can ask god to give you eyes to see and understand the difficulties that people face and how we can be of some help a space for our prayers today And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen and so we notice that god did not pass by on the other side he faced the wrong that we we're doing by dying for us on the cross which meant we received his grace and so may that grace won for us by the Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.